Hey folks and welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Brennan from Blue Light and over the past several years I've been coaching and supporting people for the police recruitment process. We have a lot of success, a good three and a half thousand people are now in a role as a result of my support. So you can find out more about my services in the links below, especially to my Facebook support group which as of July 19, where we are now, has got almost 7,000 members. Absolutely incredible. So, uh, welcome to another one of my videos on a swing in an undisclosed location in North Wales, staying at a friend's house, um, having a bit of holiday time with a little blue lights and Mrs. Blue Light, um, and loving it, although the weather at the moment, I mean, look at that, it's just a bit, it's, you know, the sun's trying to peak out, but it's not succeeding. View is fantastic, but it's very cloudy and a little bit chilly as well. Anyway, what's this video all about today? Well, I thought I'd post something around vetting because a lot of you are getting caught out on vetting issues which could have been avoided. So one of the questions that's often asked in the Facebook group is, should I disclose this or I've just remembered something that happened in my past? Now, on the vetting documents that you get, you'll be asked about all contact with the police so make sure you put all of that down even if you're a victim uh, mate or a witness put it down um, if you've had uh, a caution from the police uh, when you're 11 years old or you think it was a caution let them know tell them if you've got any connections at all or relatives uh, who have had connections with the police in the past in terms of convictions tell them tell them tell them uh, make sure you put everything down all the detail you possibly can because if you don't there's quite a lot of my clients have failed on vetting some of them have managed to unravel it through contact with the vetting team and have managed to get past that failure and have been reinstated into the application process but for many of them it's the end of the line because vetting will see it as an integrity issue you did not answer the question correctly when you could have because they're not going to buy this this sort of excuse that some of my clients give that oh i forgot Oh, I forgot I had that contact with the police. Listen, I can remember all the contact I had with the police. I'd even disclosed the time I got taken back home by a police officer aged eight because I was playing with matches in an alleyway about 50 meters away from where I lived. I'd disclosed absolutely everything. I once got stopped by the police riding my bike on the pavement aged nine. And what they wanted to ask me was, would I like to do, do my cycling proficiency course? I'd declare that. I'd declare absolutely everything. Okay, maybe not the cycling proficiency thing and maybe eight years old playing with matches. May, well, no, put it down. Just put down everything, folks. And that way they can cross it off and go, ah, oh, bless. <laughs> As opposed to, hey, he didn't mention that. So don't um, mess up the whole of your journey, especially as vetting comes towards the end. Uh, because of a simple lapse in memory folks make sure you get everything there if you've got any questions about this or comments please do post them below or drop me a line at info at bluelightconsultancy.com i'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have and hopefully see you in my facebook support group uh, so goodbye from north wales i'll speak to you soon bye, -bye for now